Hi, welcome to Heart Affairs Channels. Today we have Mr. Pascal George, 72 years fit and fine young man, who has undergone two years by heart bypass surgery. Thanks, Geeta. Hi, I'm Daniela George, and this is my dad, uh, Pascal George. As Geeta mentioned, uh, two years back, my dad underwent uh, uh, bypass surgery. Um, we actually got to know about his condition through uh, our routine checkup. Um, through a family doctor who asked us to do a student echo and a stress test where his numbers came down and that's when we were asked to go for an angiography. Uh, we, were, we did his angiography in 2017 March and that's when we found out that he has two blockages, one in his left and the other one in his right. We were recommended by the doctor that we go for and you know go for a stent. Uh, but we were also told that if the stem don't work in six months, we would probably have to go for a bypass. And that led me to search for doctors and take a second opinion uh, about, the, about the bypass surgery. I was, I was looking for good doctors, um, the good bypass surgeon doctors, and I came across the name of Dr. Bhagat Kumar. Um, read his reviews, called him took an appointment uh, to show my dad's reports and that's when the, the doctor recommended me and told me that it was so important for us to go do a bypass surgery because one of his blockages were, was in the left side right at the entrance, right? And if we would have not taken proper precaution at, that, at a very right moment, I guess, you know, we probably wouldn't have that uh, aside us, right? So, um, two years back, he underwent a heart surgery, uh, not a heart surgery, but a bypass surgery, and it's been two years. All his reports are fine, he's doing perfectly fine. Not to forget, my dad also had asthma problem. With this bypass um, surgery, his asthma problem has gone away. He doesn't really take any puffs, which he used to take for almost like 70 years. Um, it's, it's gone away, he doesn't need any of that today. Um, I, I want to recommend each and every one uh, who actually are going through this issue um, to be proactive rather than being reactive. Today what happens is we wait till the last minute for all these issues to crop up but I would suggest for the senior citizens especially to go for the routine checkup, get yourself checked at least once a year. It's so important because Instead of being reactive, I think we should be proactive, take necessary actions, take care of ourselves, you know. Um, and I guess, as my dad is sitting right beside me, fit and fine, he just goes, walks, does all the stuff that a normal person does today. I guess you will be in this position if you take a reactive, if you, if you take a proactive measure and not reactive. So I would really like to take an opportunity and thank Dr. Pavan Kumar. He was just like an angel who actually worked on my dad and, I, and you know treated him so well, which is why I guess we see the results right in front of us. So thank you, doctor, for treating my dad. And today also, we, we, he does see my dad after every six months um, and recommends you know, the, the tests and, you know, make sure that he is fit and fine. So yes, thank you so much, doctor, for giving my dad a good life.